Hello, my dear children. This is Nidarsana, Mulaitiva Sri Subramaniya Vidya Salai. This is your English teacher and grade four today. Now, I have prepared a presentation for you, my dear children. There is a lesson and also a paper. Here, in this presentation, I have attached a paper that I have sent already through the Viber group. Here we have the lesson and the paper also. Now, without further delay, let's get into the slide, next slide and the lesson. In this presentation and in this slide, here I have put the lesson six. At the last class, we have done lesson five and here lesson six. In this lesson, we have to do something with this activity. Here, is a sentence, here are some sentence and some pictures. You have to identify the picture first, right? What is it? You have to identify the picture first. Then what you are going to do is you have to write it down, but they gave you the answer in a box, right? Now you can see the answer here. Right, here we have some answers. Home, books, nine, plant, friends, milk, rice. These are the answer for this lesson. Now, let's read the heading of this lesson. This is how Nisal celebrated his birthday. So it is a birthday party, right? Whose birthday party is it? It's Nisal, Nisal's birthday party. Now, here Nisal said about his birthday, how he celebrated his birthday, right? Let's read one by one. The first sentence is, I celebrated my dash birthday, right? You can read with me, my dear children. I celebrated my dash birthday. The second one, he said, my mother cooked dash. Understand? Yes, my mother cooked dash. And the third sentence, I planted a mango dash. I planted a mango dash. Fourth sentence, I donated three dash to the library. I donated three dash to the library. Next sentence, my grandparents visited our dash. I was happy to see them. My grandparents visited our dash. I was happy to see them. And the last sentence, in the evening, my dash visited me. I enjoyed my birthday very much, right? So children, look at here, 
here we have six sentences that Nissan said about his birthday. How he celebrated his birthday. So here we can understand how he celebrated his birthday. But the thing is, we have to identify the pictures. So here, for each sentence, we have six pictures, right? We have six pictures. The first picture is, there is a cake and there is also a number. In second sentence, there is a plate of food, but we don't know what is that, but we have to identify that. And the third one, there is a tree or plant that also we have to identify. And the next sentence, there are three books, right? Three books. And in fifth question sentence, there is the picture that is a house or maybe there are three people, right? And the in last picture, there is a tree, there is a camp, and there are three uh, kids, yeah, children. Now, let's read the answer. A, home, B, books, C, Ninth, D, plant, E, friends, F, milk rice. So these are the answers we have. Now let's connect the answer to the picture. Right? Shall we? Yes. The first picture is a cake that has a number. That number is nine. So the answer for this sentence is C, ninth, right? And the sentence is, the full sentence is here. I celebrated my, yes, there, the sentence is, Small correction there. Here we have to add my. Right. Now let's play this slide again. Okay. The first sentence we have found the answer. I celebrated my ninth birthday. Right. So Nisal celebrated his ninth birthday. The next sentence he said, my mother cooked dash. So there is answer, home, books, ninth, plant, and friends, milk rice. So the picture refers the answer, milk rice. There's the food items. So we have in the answer, we have only a food item, milk rice. So my mother cooked milk rice. So here the sentence is, my mother cooked milk rice. Okay. Now, the third question is, I planted a mango dash. What's that? It is a plant, right? It is a plant. So he planted a mango plant. The answer for that, I planted a mango plant, right? Now, the next sentence is, I donated three dash to the library. Okay, let's connect this sentence, sorry, this picture to the answer. Home, no. Books, yes. 
we can easy easily identify book is the answer so three books now the sentence is i donated three books to the library okay i donated three books to the library now the next sentence we have here is my grandparents visited our dash i was happy to see them so this picture refers home books night plant friends milk rice what is suitable for this picture yes home is very suitable to this picture so let's make the sentence my grandparents visited our home i was happy to see them right i was happy to see them right okay now the last one in the evening my dash so here we only have a answer that is friends so the picture also refers this answer friends let's make the sentence in the evening my friends visited me i enjoyed my birthday very much right so this is how he celebrated his birthday let's read the sentences from the first my dear children here i'm requesting you to read with me i celebrated my ninth birthday my mother cooked milk rice i planted a mango plant i donated three books to the library my grandparents visited our home i was happy to see them in the evening my friends visited me i enjoyed my birthday very much right this is how you have to write your birthday how you celebrate your birthday right this is in the past form so you can write how you celebrated your last birthday right your last year birthday it means this year 2020 so you can write like this paragraph okay children now uh here we have a paper also that paper is revise the unit 7 so here we are in revision session in this session we have a paper from unit 7 the title for the unit 7 is my calendar right now my dear children i'm showing you the paper here that i have sent to you to through the viber group Nananda Vidyalaya Colombo 10 unit test project for grade 4 English unit 7 my calendar right children here we have 1 2 3 4 5 activities in this paper okay now i'm going to turn to next slide that slide has the first activity complete the missing letter are you all ready to do this yes i hope so right here we go complete the missing letters in this question we have 12 words that words refers months of the year could you understand what what are they months of the year so how many months we have in a year yes 
we have 12 years in a month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So there are 12 months we have in a year. Bright children, this session we have already studied in Unit 7, Lesson 2. So here I have attached that slides with this presentation because I'm, I, I should recall the teaching learning process that we have done for this lesson. So you also recall what you have learned in this lesson. Okay, children, let's go. The first one is January. The spelling for the January is, you have to, yes, you have to write the correct letter, correct the missing letter in the blanks. So you have to correct the, uh, write the missing letter in the blanks. Okay. Let's check the first answer. Yes. It's that correct? Yeah. January. The spelling for January is J-A-N-U-A-R-Y. January. Right? Now, let's check the next Okay, let's check the next one. That is February. So we know the spelling for the February. F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y. February. Okay. The next one is March. So the spelling for March is M A. R C H March. Do you understand? Yeah. The next one is April. So the spelling for April is A P R I L. April. Is that correct? Yes. The next one, May. So the spelling we know M A. Y, May. And the sixth one, June. The spelling for it, J, U, N, E, June. Okay. The next one we have here is July. The spelling for that, J, U, L, Y, July. And also, the next month is August. The spelling for that is A U G U S T, August. Okay. The ninth month is September. The spelling for September is S E P T E M B E. R September okay the 10th month is October the spelling for that is O C T O B E R October and the 11th month is November it means our last month N O V E M B E R November and the last month of the year is December. We are in December now. D E C E M B E R. December. Okay, children, let's read, or let's spell the word from the first again. You have to read with me, my dear children. Please read. Uh, look at the words and read. You have to. Correct your pronunciation also. J 
A N U A R Y. January. F E B R U A R Y. February. M A R C H. March. A P R I L. April. M A Y. May. J U N E. June. J U L Y. July. A U E G U S T. August. S E P T E M B E R. September. O C T O B E R. October. N O V E M B E R. November. D E C E M B E R. December. Okay, children. Right. I hope you understood this slide, this activity. Now let's move to the next activity which we have in the paper is answer the following questions, right? The instruction for you is answer the following questions. Here we have five questions and this also related to the months of the year. So we already know what are the months in a year and we have just uh, recalled what is the spelling and what is the correct pronunciation and how can read the months we have just done that so here we have five questions we have to answer to these questions the first question is what month is it now could you understand what month is it now what month is it december we are in december now right and the next question what month is it next month december so the next month is the first one january right the fresh month of year the, the december is the last month of the year and January is the fresh month of the year. So uh, we have only 20 days to move on to this January freshest year. Okay. Third question is what month is last month? That also December. The last month of the year is December. Now the fourth question, which month is your birthday? Here they are asking which month is your birthday? Here I put my birthday month is March. So you have to, there you have to write your birthday month. It's maybe January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, etc. Et so you can write your birthday month there. And the fifth one, what month is Vesak? Vesak is in May, right? Vesak is in May. So what month is it now? December. What month is it next month? January. What month is last month? December. Which month is your birthday? March. What month is Vesak? May. Right. That's all. Okay, children, please make sure on the fourth question. Right now, let's have a look on the next slide. That slide will show you the revision of the unit seven. So, in uh, in the previous two slides, we have completed months of the year. So here, the next slides will show you the lesson that we have learned already okay months of the year and we have watched a video for this okay months of the year here are some points for months of the year there are 12 months in a year the first point is there are 12 months in a year 
the first letter of month is written with uppercase letter that's uh, that is the main rule when you write a month you have to write the first letter in a capital letter uppercase letter right so the first letter of month is written with uppercase letter should be written right okay all months have 30 or 31 days except for february right not this point except for february which has 28 days right that's why it's called leap year so here are three points we have learned there are 12 months in a year the first letter of month is written with uppercase letter all months have 30 or 31 days except for february which has 28 days okay children now the next slide is here okay months of the year january february march april may june july august september october november and december right okay with the month of the year we use the proportion in right when we write the month of the year in a sentence we have to use the proportion in right let's read sorry 10 minutes more let's read in january in february this is the formation in march in april in may in june in july in august in september in october in november in december these slides we just recalled okay so the next slide shows the example sentence yes january for january my friend and i played skating in january the example sentence for that proportion right in january my friend and i played skating in january for february there are 28 days in february there are 28 days in february right now the example for the march oh. march world's water day is in march the related picture and the example sentence for april we celebrate easter in april so my dear children be careful with the proportion which we use to write a month now may when we write may we celebrate mother's day in may right and summer season starts in june right summer season starts in june for july my family and i go on vacations in july my family and i go on vacations in july august our school holiday starts in august our school holiday starts in august the next one is september we go back to school in september we go back to school in september october my birthday is in october the related sentence my birthday is in october 
November. We celebrate Diwali in November. We celebrate Diwali in November. And the last sentence, we celebrate Christmas in December. We celebrate Christmas in December. So these are the, uh, these are the example sentence for the preposition. And we are in next activity, answer the following questions. Here, we have to study about the days of the week. So let's answer to these questions. What day comes before Friday? So what day is it? Is it Thursday? Right? What day comes after Saturday? The Saturday, yeah, after Saturday is Sunday. So what day is between Monday and Wednesday? What is that? That is Tuesday. And it's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday today. What will it be tomorrow? So imagine today is Sunday. So what will it be tomorrow? It's Monday. And the last question, it's Sunday today. What was it yesterday? What is that? Saturday. So these are the answer here. We have to study about the days of the week. That also I have attached the slides from the lesson days of the week. Right. Let's have a look on days of the week. Sun Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And the next slide shows you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those, yeah, these days are weekdays. And like that, Sorry, children, it was power cut here. Now I'm rejoining to this presentation, but uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Now, in that particular lesson, I have attached um, this. This is how Senori usually spends her week, right? Here is Senori, and he will tell you how she spent her week. Monday, in Monday, Yes, on Monday, Senori plays chess, right? On Monday, Senori plays chess. On Tuesday, Senori goes swimming. On Tuesday, she goes swimming. On Wednesday, right? On Wednesday, she plays with her sister. On Wednesday, she plays with her sister. On Thursday, she waters the plants in her garden. On Thursday, she waters the plants in her garden. Now, on Friday, what is she doing is, on Friday, she reads books. On Friday, she reads books, right? On Saturday, on Saturday, she does her homework on Saturday. She does her homework. Right, let's see. On Sunday, on Sunday, she visits her grandmother. On Sunday, she visits her grandmother. Now, children, here we are in the next activity, right? Look and, yeah, mark the time. Yeah, the correct time. Look and mark the correct time. Now, the first one is it's 10.30. It's 10.30. So, we have to put the our hand in between 10 and 11 and the minute hand to 6. It shows 10.30. And the next clock should show 9.15. So the uh, the our hand is yeah the our hand is in this 
point and the minute hand yes the minute hand in shows three yeah it it, it that clock this clock particular clock shows us the time it's 9 15. okay the next clock should show it's oh don't do please we don't have more time um back to the presentation i'm very sorry for that inconvenience today i'm very sorry for that okay children now i'm going to uh, i'm going to do the remaining activity before that i have to add all the children here yes okay thank you for your recoming okay right here the next clock will show it's 11 45 so in 11 45 we have to draw the our hand to 11 and little bit to move um, between 11 and 12 right little bit distance right okay and the next minute hand is there to nine the point from the point to nine so that time is 11 45 is that correct okay now next time is it's 12 30 so 12 30 is the our hand to 12 and the minute hand to 6 so it's 12 30 the last clock is it's one o'clock last last clock is one o'clock this clock will show the time one o'clock and we will draw the mm, our hand first to one and the minute hand to 12. So the time is one o'clock now. Okay, children, please, you have to say the time to me. What is the first clock time? It's 10.30. The next one, it's 9.15. And the next clock, it's 11.45. And the next clock, it's 12 30 and the next clock is it's one o'clock okay this is the time that we have drawn here okay now yes i think we are in the last activity from that paper okay children what's the weather like okay here we have a tool and that has five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And each day shows us the weather, right? What, the first one is like some clouds. And the second one is the bright sun. We can see a bright sun. And the third day shows us rain and the next day shows us the wind okay the last day shows us the same to tuesday a bright sun we can see a bright sun so let's read the question and find the answer what's the weather like on monday what is that it's cloudy day so the answer for that is cloudy and the second one, what's the weather like on Tuesday? The sun is there and he is shining bright and he is wearing a sunglass. So it is a sunny day. Okay. The third one is what's the weather like on Wednesday? What's that? It's rainy day. Yeah, we can see a cloud and it is um giving us the rain and what's the weather like on thursday right it is windy day windy 
What's the weather like on Friday? It is, sorry, it is sunny. So cloudy, sunny, rainy, windy, sunny. What are they? They are from here. In this lesson, we have studied that particular weather, right? So, weather we have studied before, sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy. Let's spell each word, sunny, S-U-N-N-Y, sunny, cloudy, C-L-O-U-D-Y, cloudy. Rainy, R-A-I-N-Y, rainy. Windy, W-I-N-D-Y, windy, okay? Children, now let's have some pictures. Let's have a look on some pictures for each weather. The first one is sunny. Here are the pictures for sunny. And cloudy, for cloudy, For windy, for rainy, okay, okay children, we are in our last slide and I am again I'm asking sorry for that inconvenience, the power cut and the technical problem with my laptop. And my dear children, I hope you have learned a lot from this presentation today because I have, uh, I have taught you the days of the week and the months of the year and the weather and the clock from Junit 7. We have these four parts from Junit 7. Okay, we have successfully completed those lessons. Okay, children, and here I hope we will meet on next uh, Monday. And thank you for thank you for your kind cooperation today because you um, you little uh, you have had a little uh, bit of struggle with my lesson today. So uh, again, I'm asking sorry for that. And my dear children, we will meet on next class. Till then, you all take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.